Hello guys, and today we will present you Hamlet by William Shakespeare by Paulina, Yassin and Kevin. Summary. We will start by the introduction, the plot, the characters, the theme, relation to your theme, why Shakespeare is still popular today, extracts, analysis of a quote, your personal opinions. The introduction. It was first performed around 1600, uh, Hamlet in five acts. It is the story of a prince whose duty to revenge his father's death leads him into uncertain madness and calls for philosophical problems he can solve. The genre Hamlet belongs to his to its tra tragedy and precisely revenge tragedy. The play is set in Denmark, London in the late medieval period, but its chronological setting in, is very imprecise. We would describe the play being dark, somewhat ironic, despite surely violent and melancholic. The plot. Of course, the story is more detailed, but here is a short summary of the plot. The king of Denmark has died, and his wife, wife Gertrude has married his brother Claudius. The king's son, Hamlet, has come, has come home to Elsinore, the castle, for his father's funeral. After the funeral, Hamlet sees the ghost of his father. The ghost instructs him that it was his brother Claudius, the new king, who killed him, and commands and obliges Hamlet to get revenge. A group of traveling actors visit the castle, and Hamlet asks them to perform a play about a man who murders a sleeping king, to see how Claudius reacts to ensure that he is well guilty of the king's death. Hamlet admits to his girlfriend Ophelia that he never loved her, then asks Gertrude how she can be happy with her husband after his father was just died. Hamlet and his mother Gertrude argue about his behavior. During their argument, Hamlet accidentally kills Polonius, Ophelia's father. Claudius sends him to England, but this does not take long, and Hamlet comes back very soon after that to Denmark. Ophelia's brother, Laetrus, comes home and finds Ophelia has gone mad with grief. She kills herself. Claudius and Laetrus plot to murder Hamlet. Hamlet agrees to fight Laetrus in duel. While we wouldn't want to spoil you the ending of the play, we have mentioned that Hamlet is a tragedy, and as we know in a tragedy, everyone eventually dies at the end. In this case, what happens is that during the duel, Gertrude, also present at the duel, drinks from, drinks from the cup of poison that Claudius has placed near, near Hamlet to ensure his death. Before Hamlet himself dies, he manages to stop Claudius and to entrust the clearing of his honor to his friend Horatio. We'll then proceed and tell his story. Characters. Hamlet, the prince of the Denmark, and the protagonist. He must be about 30 years old at the start of the play. Hamlet is the son of Queen Gertrude, and the last king, Hamlet. Claudius. He is the king of Denmark, Hamlet's uncle in the play's antagonist. He is the villain of the play who supposedly killed his own brother, in the name of power of the country. Gertrude, the queen, the queen of Denmark and Hamlet's mother, she has recently married Claudius. Gertrude loves Hamlet deeply, but she is a weak woman who desires affectionate status, who justifies her marriage to Claudius after the king's death. Horatio, Hamlet's close friend. Horatio is loyal and helpful to Hamlet through the play. After Hamlet's death, Horatio remains alive with gold to tell Hamlet's stories. Ophelia. She is Polonia's daughter, a beautiful young woman with whom Hamlet has been in love. During the play, she gives Polonia's shames to spy on Hamlet, even her taps into madness and death. Polonius. Polonius is the father of Laetris and Ophelia. Lartes, Polinius' son, and Ophelia's brother, a young man who spent much time of the play in France. The ghost. The ghost of Ham's recently deceased father. 
the ghost who claims to have been murdered by Claudius, obliges Hamlet to avenge him. However, it is not entirely certain whether the ghost is what it appears to be, or whether it is something else, like an imagine, imagination of Hamlet's mind. Themes. The themes that we find, found are present in the play are the following. Well, we know that Hamlet is a revenge tragedy because it contains all the typical elements of the revenge tragedy, a violent crime committed against a family member of the hero. The hero's doubt which involves complex planning to carry out the revenge and the appearance of a ghost. We found many themes regarding Hamlet. In order not to spend too much time on these, we decided to explain only a few of them. The complexity of the action, the, impos the impossibility of certainty, the mystery of death, madness and doubts present in the play. The impossibility of certainty. What differentiates Hamlet from other revenge plays is the action we expect to see, particularly from Helmet himself. He's continually postponed while Hamlet tries to obtain more certain knowledge about what he's doing. This play poses many questions to that other place would simply take for granted. For example, okay. is the ghost a real figure or it is a misleading trick of Hamlet's mind? Does the ghost have real deep knowledge about its own death or is the ghost itself deal with? Can Hamlet know the state of Claudius' soul by watching his parable? No, Hamlet thinks but is entirely sure his uncle killed his father. He believes he sees his father's ghost, but is it certain we should believe in the ghost or listen to what the ghost tells him? Here are some examples of all the questions that arise during the play. Whether Gertrude was having an affair with Claudius before he killed fa Hamlet's father, whether Hamlet is seen or mad, what Hamlet's true feelings are for Ophelia. Why is Shakespeare still popular today? One has surely thought or asked himself, why are we studying works of a writer that, he, that lived 400 years ago? The answer is pretty simple, honestly, if you take into the consideration that you quote him every day and can still relate to his characters, stories, and themes, the answer is basically already given. Even 400 years after his passing, Shakespeare remains relevant nowadays. People from all over the world have heard of him, watched his plays, read and studied his work. Shakespeare and his work are simply timeless, and his presence in our daily lives is undeniable. He was a genius that understood how the human brain and characters worked. He knows how to portray the most complex themes of human life. He depicts murder, ambition, love, revenge, betrayal, and hatred. This universe these universal themes engage readers given they can relate and connect to what is being said. They are not just reflections of his own life in his own times. They have always existed and they still do now. Here are some of many other reasons why Shakespeare is still popular today. His incredible influence on the English language. For example, we use Green eye jealousy, tongue tied in a pickle, we are quoting Shakespeare. His universal and enduring characters. He was without a doubt, doubt a master and genius when it came to drafting his characters and stories with qualities and traits that the readers clearly identify with. In our case, it was the anguish and torment that Hamlet felt. We can relate with all of these at some points in our lives. His characters depict the emotions of a common human being. We will show you a short extract about the play. Another hit, what say you? A touch, a touch, I do uh, confess. Our son shall win. Here, Hamlet, take my napkin. Rub thy brow. The queen carouses to thy fortune, Hamlet. Good, madam. Gertrude, do not drink. I will. I pray you, pardon me. It is the poison cup. It is too late. I dare not drink yet, madam, by and by. Come, let me wipe thy face. 
Have at you now. Part them! They are incensed! Nay, come again. Where's a woodcock to mine own springe, Osric? I am justly killed by my own treachery. How does the queen? She swoons to see them bleed. No, no, the drink, the drink. Oh, sweet Hamlet, the drink, the drink. I am poisoned. Oh, oh. villainy. Oh, let the door be locked. Fetchery, seek it out. Oh, it is here. Hamlet. Hamlet, thou art slain. No medicine in the world can do thee good. In thee there is not half an hour's life. The treacherous instrument is in thy hand, unbaited and envenomed. The foul practice hath turned itself on me. Lo, here I lie, never to rise again. Thy mother's poison. The, the king. Ah, the king's to blame. The point. Uh, and venom too. Then venom to thy work. Treason. 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 Uh, uh, here. Thou incestuous, murderous, damned Dane. Drink uh, off this potion. Follow my mother. Uh, uh, Oh. Oh. He is oh. justly served. It is a poison mm. tempered by himself. Exchange forgiveness with me, noble Hamlet. Mine and my father's death come not upon thee, nor mine on thee. Heaven make thee free of it. I follow thee. Wretched queen, adieu. Oh. You that look pale and tremble at this chance, so I could tell you. But let it be. Oh. Horatio, I am dead. Thou livest. Report me in my cause a right to the unsatisfied. I never believe it. Oh. I am more an antique Roman than a Dane. Here's yet some liquor left. If thou art a man, give me the cup. Let go by heaven. I'll have it. Ah! Oh. Good Horatio. What a wounded name shall I leave behind me? If thou didst ever hold me in thy heart, absent thee from felicity a while, and in this harsh world, draw thy breath in pain to tell my story. What warlike noise is this? Young Fortinbras, with conquest, comes from Poland. Give this warlike volley. Oh, I die, Horatio. The potent poison quite forecrows my spirit. I cannot live to hear the news from England, but I do prophesy the election lights on Fortinbras. He has my dying voice, so tell him with the rest of the occurrence, more or less, that have solicited the rest is silence. With this short extract portrayed at the end of the play, which is the duel between Hamlet and Latrus. As we saw, Clagius and Latrus got stabbed by Hamlet. Gertrude is poisoned, and Hamlet himself dies from a wound from a wound from a poisoned sword. As we saw, it is indeed a true tragedy. All the main characters die at the end. Now moving on to the analysis of the quote. The quote is told by Hamlet midway throughout the play. He begins his speech with to be or not to be, that is the question. He contemplates death while comparing it to sleep. When Hamlet asks about being or not being, it is, it is often read as a debate about whether he should commit suicide. 
He thinks his uncle murders his father and then marries his mother. And then there's a ghost telling Hamlet to avenge his death. It is, under, it is understandable that the prince is simply overwhelmed by the tragic situation he finds himself, himself in. However, Hamlet isn't necessarily just talking about himself in this quote. By saying that, he engages a larger philo philosophical debate about whether it's better to live and be miserable or just to end it all for good. Personal opinions. I didn't like Hamlet because of the lack of actions and the way the play was scripted. I didn't like it too. There is no emotional scene. We don't have enough connection with the character like we can get with other play. I, on the other hand, enjoyed the play. In my opinion, it is, an, uh, it is another great play from William Shakespeare. It portrays death, doubt, and madness, which makes, which makes of it a very interesting play with plenty of action. Let alone the character that I find very that I find were very well written. Is the source we have used.